We are hidden treasure in the state of New Jersey or in fact in the United States. We are so located, so close to New York City. We have unbelievable faculty. We have faculty members from Metropolitan Opera, all professional musicians, all freelance, one of the most recognized musicians in the world. And they're here to teach our students. Our students are first generation college children. What that means is many parents do not understand the, the importance of college. They understand the need of college, but they don't understand the music aspect of college. And to be a musician is one of the most difficult things you can possibly do because not only do you have classes, homework that you have to take care of, there's a practice aspect. Um, many of the piano majors, they practice minimum four hours a day. That is just to maintain. If you're going to develop from that, then you need more. So in addition to all those hours, there's just no way they're going to be able to work and practice and be able to fulfill their dreams. Really, uh, my goal from my childhood, I really wanted to study in the United States. And um, so that's why actually, actually my dreams come true. <laughs> I'm here and uh, I have an opportunity to study here, so I'm very happy about that. At the time, to study in the United States was very costly, but um, so I, I couldn't, so my family cannot support me. The Vienna is one of the, um, uh, the starting so point in the classical music, and I understand that. So I learned really the basics of the traditional music, traditional classical music. But here, I can express more with, with that uh, basics. I can, I can improve myself uh, with my ways, you know. So I can express, it's, it's more free here. Hyojin uh, was educated in, uh, in Germany. She's Korean, but was educated in Germany. But uh, when, she, when I met her, I, I thought she had a wonderful personality, very brilliant, bright. And uh, she came, she's currently studying with uh, Dr. Kent. And uh, he's also a wonderful piano instructor at our school. And um, he, she's progressing very, very well. I heard her play and I think she has a different aspect of playing once again. Jung Nim is a very sensitive pianist. And I think uh, she is always asking questions as to uh, how she can make it certain things better. And I think that will uh, make her into a wonderful piano teacher in future and um, a wonderful coach and different kind of another, yet again, another aspect of music making. And it's been a wonderful pleasure to work with uh, Jung Nim. After my graduate, uh, I want to teach art, uh, music student, piano, I mean, piano. Korea, or I really like to teach here. Uh, this is my second semester for doing GA, so I'm doing uh, accompaniment, and I'm doing tutoring, I'm doing uh, accompaniment for opera, and accompaniment for other instruments, and then helping my you know, my instructor, Dr. Kim, it, it was really, really good experience, you know, so. Charlie has a strong personality with a enormous amount of talent and power. My job for Charlie is to make him understand his potential. He's an Italian-American who has this extrovert aspect and in order for him to show that personality, we need to hone in so that what we show is something very unique. Well, this piece is actually one of the, it's the first piece that I ever played without ever hearing first, um, which is, one of my teachers says is what you're supposed to do, so I guess I did something right. Um, it takes a lot of concentration. You have to have the whole piece mapped out from beginning to end and um, you know most pieces, like a story, they have a climax in the middle of it. You know, you have this start, you move up, then you move down. This one is kind of just you keep on going up, keep on going up, and then end. So it's about controlling yourself until you let yourself break loose at the end, which is. So it's about getting from mapping out how you're going to get from here 
to um and then to there. <laughs> Tony is a wonderful pianist. I've known Tony initially as a judge for an international competition. I met Tony when he was 15. Um, at that time, he wasn't wonderful. He had a couple years of no piano, uh, but that was not fault of his, but uh, fault of fate. Um, but now, he has a wonderful facility, and it's getting him out of his shell is most important. He's one of the funniest guys and warm-hearted, very loyal, very sensitive. And making him understand to um, share that sensitivity, he will not get hurt, is very big of a big challenge for me. Um, and right now, he currently trusts me, and hopefully that, that will continuously expand to other people that he trusts. You can't just go, go away. This is so dramatic. This is a romantic opera, okay. right? This scholarship that we're trying to raise is for all music, dance, and theater students. It is all-encompassing, not just classical musicians, but classical jazz is to create an endowed fund. And I think it's important um, that we do this because can you just imagine life without music? Have you ever considered a day where you do not hum a tune or listen to a radio or MP3? Can you imagine what kind of life that would be? Music is part of our soul, part of us as a human being. And in order for us to be a good, good human being, in my opinion, we need to reflect and indicate what's in our heart. And these are our students who are at the beginning stages of that.